our effort. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing is going to stop us. We are determined. We are resolute. There is nothing the enemies can do to stop this very effort. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. We are live and we are direct and the whole world once again is bearing us witness. My name is Nnamdi Dekano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra all over this very planet, IPOB. I am the director of Radio Biafra and Biafra Television. Many, 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 many millennia ago, it is still very pertinent on this very day. Very, very pertinent. Jeremiah 5. Anybody who is close to the scriptures should go to it, please. Very, very important. Because here we unashamedly worship the only one and true living God, the almighty creator of the heavens and the earth. Other people call it different names, but for us is the almighty, the beginning and the very end, the author and the finisher of our existence. And this evening we pray. Oh, heavenly Father in heaven, we congregate before thee in nearly 180 countries around the world and territories. Your children have come to listen to the gospel that only you ordained must be preached at this very time and in this very age. This gospel which you have mandated us to preach, we have done so relentlessly, remorselessly, unflinching. We have not for one single day considered ever stepping back from this very divine mission. Although your prophet Jeremiah in the days of old did speak about Israel and Jerusalem, today those words still ring very true. Therefore we ask this very evening, as the prophet Jeremiah did ask, who can find us a man if there is anyone who is honest, who is just? who can sincerely execute any judgment, who seeks the truth. And Elohim said, and I will pardon this very city. I will not destroy Jerusalem. Though they say, as the Lord lives surely, they swear falsely. They go to their churches every blessed day. Some of them even go to their mosques. They come out as liars, as deceivers, as cheats. Oh, Heavenly Father, you will not allow your chosen children of IPOB to become such. Oh, Heavenly Father, does it mean that your eyes are not on the truth? Does it mean you do not see what is happening in the damnable zoological republic? Does it mean you have created us as fools, people who can no longer reason? Because idiocy and stupidity have consumed all of them. They have refused to receive correction year after year, decade after decade. The same nonsense, the same mediocrity, the same corruption, the same misrule, the same poverty, the same deprivation, the same suppression, the same pain and suffering for everybody. These Janjaweed, they have made their faces to be harder than a rock. They have refused to concede to reason. Therefore, as Jeremiah said, I said this evening, surely these are poor. They are foolish, for they do not know the way of the Most High Elohim, the judgment of the Most High God. For I will go to the great men and I will speak to them as I speak this very evening. For they have known the way of the Most High and the judgment of Elohim. The deeds have altogether broken the yoke. A wolf of the desert shall destroy all of them. A leopard will watch over their cities. Everyone who goes out from there shall be torn to pieces because their transgressions are many. Their backslidings have increased. And so says the Lord of hosts. So has it been declared upon the same house of the iniquitous. Hear this now, O ye foolish people without understanding, who have eyes but do not see, 
You have ears, but you do not hear. You do not fear me, so says the Lord of hosts. Will you not tremble at my presence, who have placed the sand as the bound of the sea, only the Elohim? That is why we give thee praise. That is why we give thee adoration. That is why, O oh Heavenly Father, we call upon your name, that your mercy may abound in the lives of those that believe in your redeeming grace, that Biafra may come in our time and our enemies put to shame, that your words may come to fulfillment, that that very last miracle may for once convince the world that indeed Biafra is the land that you have blessed immensely. We pray not that any glory may belong to any man, but that every adoration and honor may be yours. And that your holy name glorified in this generation and the next. And every other generation that will come now and forevermore, we pray. He said, he said, he said, we are moving very, very speedily this evening to let the world understand what is happening, not just in Biafra land or in the wider damnable zoological republic, to understand that the enemies are wasting their time. And of course, to let those who have been bribed by the Janjaweed 